Good morning, everybody. Today you're here with Olivia and I. Uh, last week we did a show about uh, memes and TikToks from 2020, and this week we'll be doing a show about in memorial of all the people we lost. But before we get into that, we're going to go to Josh with news. Yesterday, the House Representative impeached Trump for inciting a violent insurrection as members of the president's own party joined Democrats to charge him with high crimes and misdemeanors for an unconsumed second time. The House adopted the article of impeachment, voting 232 out of 197 to charge Trump with inciting violence and requesting his removal from the office and disqualification from holding any officer again. The vote has set stage for a second Senate trial of Trump in the year. Although the Senate is not set to reconvene before January 20th when Biden will take oath of office. Herman Cain was a businessman and activist for the Tea Party movement within the Republican Party. He died on January 30, 2020, at the age of 75. John Lewis was an American politician and civil rights activist. He served the House of Representatives for George Fifth District in 1987 until his death in 2020. He died on July 17, 2020, at the age of 80. Ruth Bader Ginsburg was an American lawyer and served as the Supreme Court Justice in 1993. Ginsburg was the second woman to serve as a Supreme Court. She also worked at the, and argued for women's rights and as the director of the Women's Rights Project. She died September 18, 2020, at the age of 87. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. With liberty and justice for all. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On Monday, January the 11th, the ESM Masterminds team notched two more victories with, with wins over Union Springs and Christian Brothers. The varsity team had climbed into third place in the Syracuse League with a record of 4-2. and two. The JV squad continues to lead its league with a record of 5-1. and one. Any student interested in playing Masterminds, which is a trivia game, should reach out to Mr. Kissling or Ms. Sherwood to join the fun. National Honor Society is hosting a blood drive on Friday, January 29th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. in the Hall of Fame. The need for blood is at an all-time high, so donations are critical. To register, please visit see Mr. Musolino for information. All right, so our first person we are going to be talking about today is Helen Reddy, who is a singer best known for her song, I Am Woman. And next, we have Charles Pride, who recently died of symptoms due to COVID-19. We have Charlie Daniels, country music singer, best known for his song, The Devil Went Down to Georgia. And the famous Kenny Rogers. You got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Right. Know when to Ooh, walk so away. Know when to run. Next up, we have Eddie Van Halen, who is lead singer of the infamous rock band Van Halen. Um, we'd also like to give a quick shout out to the rappers, I'd like to say, I guess, in our generation who, who recently passed away. Uh, MF Doom, Juice World, and Pop Smoke, and another one who isn't on here, King Von. mostly cloudy with a high of 40. Tomorrow we will have possible rain showers with a high of 44. Saturday and Sunday are going to drop down into the mid 30s with chances of snow. The rest of the week is going to be in the lower 30s with scattered snow showers. I'm Gabby with your weather.
So continuing on to people that have passed away in 2020, we have David Prowse, who played Darth Vader, and Jeremy Bullock, who played Boba Fett in Star Wars. We also have Kelly Preston, who was married to John Travolta and appeared in more than 60 film productions. We have Olivia de Havilland, the last living star of Gone with the Wind, Kirk Douglas, who made his debut in The Strange Love of Martha of Ivers, Sean Connery, who is known for playing the famous James Bond, and lastly, Chadwick, Chadwick Bosman, who is known from The Black Panther. Last night in the NBA, uh, James Harden was traded to the Nets to join Kyrie and KD. Um, Karis LeVert was uh, traded to Houston, which ended up flipping, and Houston ended up flipping him for Victor Oladipo, and Victor Oladipo is now in Houston. The Cavaliers ended up get, getting Jarrett Allen and uh, Terry and Prince from the Nets. And Tuesday night, the Syracuse men's basketball team lost to uh, North Carolina 81-75 as Quincy Garrier led the team with 23 points, 11 rebounds, and Buddy Bayheim ended up leading the team in assists with four. Announced a little while ago from uh, Adam Schefter, Ohio State, former Ohio State Buckeyes head coach, and the Jacksonville Jaguars are in advanced talks to finalize a deal to make Urban Meyer the head coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now to the people who we lost in 2020 in the sports world. Phil Necro, nicknamed Nuxy, has 318 career wins, the most by a knuckleball pitcher. Lou Brock, he broke Ty Cobb's all-time major league steals record and broke Mari Wilson's single season record. Whitey Ford was a 10-time All-Star and a 6-time world champion. Gal Sayers was, a, was the legendary Bears running back was the and he was the youngest player to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. Diego Mordano, who scored the Hand of God goal that led his team to a World Cup in 1986, and Kobe Bryant won five titles and is considered to be one of the greatest of all time. And I'm Tanner with your sports. Yes. And now on to actors who we lost in. 2020. Uh, first up, we have Regis Philbin, who has the most hours on TV with his show Live with Regis and Kelly. Then we have actor Carl Reiner, known for the Dick Van Dyke film and Ocean 11, 12, and 13 films. Uh, we have Jerry Stiller, who not only has a famous son, but is also known for being on Seinfeld and King of Queens. Next, we have David Lander, who played Skiggy from the TV show Laverne and Shirley. Uh, and last but not least, we have Don Wells, who played Marianne in Gilligan's Island. Well, actually, lastly, but not least, we have the one and only Alex Trebek, who was the beloved game show host for Jeopardy. Right, that's all we have for today. So from me, Ty, and everyone else here in the morning show, have a great day.